Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a really cool video. We're going to look at my complete Apple II collection because I finally completed it yesterday. So now I have one of every single Apple II generation complete with its original monitor, monitor stand, mouse, floppy drives, whatever. So let's start with the first one, the original Apple II. Okay, so here we have the original Apple II, which I actually got for quite a steal, to be honest. The Apple II was released in April of 1977 with a starting price of $1,295, which is around $5,819 in 2021. It featured Apple's rainbow logo on the top shell, which they actually kept until I think it was 1998 or something. It had an open design, actually all the Apple IIs had an open design with expansion slots as well. The original Apple II was actually only released in the US, so there were a lot of clones on the market. Eventually, the Apple II got discontinued in 1979 after a rough two years of being on the market. Apple did not release any monitors during their Apple II sale period, so most people got their own monitors or hooked the Apple II up onto a television set. It did came with two disc two floppy drives. It went on sale in early 1979 and they cost $595 back then, which is around $2,300 nowadays. That was for a single one. So those two would cost you $4,600 nowadays. Around that time, the Apple II Plus came to the market in the US in 1979. There still wasn't an Apple II that worked in Europe. People modified their imported Apple IIs from the US, but it just wouldn't work right. As I already told you, there were a lot of clones around and people paid hard cash for them. So that is why ITT, under license from Apple, built the first official and legal Apple II clone, that is the ITT 2020, which I have here in my collection as well. The ITT 2020 was built for the European market, such as the Netherlands where I live and had a European pulse standard for video signal. When the 2 and 2 Plus still had the NTSC standard, which was both black and white, and the ITT 2020 even had color. After the 2 UR Plus was introduced here in Europe, Apple discontinued their license with the ITT 2020, and that's why it sold for a really short period of time. And that's why it's also a really good collector's piece in Apple's 2 history. It's, it's just such a cool story. So as you already maybe thought, here we have the Apple II Euro Plus. Released in 1979, the retail price was $1195. That is $4472 nowadays. The power supply and other firmware and hardware things were upgraded and changed by Apple in order to have a completely working Apple II here in Europe. Funny story is that the Apple II Euro Plus still had a black and white video output, even though the Apple ITT 2020 clone had color. But the Apple II Euro Plus and the Apple II Plus were almost identical. Even looking at software, like 99% of the software would just work on both models. They stopped selling the Apple II Euro Plus in 1983 when they started selling the Apple IIe. With the Apple II Plus here in this set, we also have the Monitor 3, which actually was made for the Apple III in 1980. People loved its looks and they also loved the reduced glare coding, so they also started using it for the Apple II series. The selling price was $400, but only $350 if you bought it alongside the computer. Apple had a lot of discounts like this. Looking at the $350, that would cost you around $1,150 today. So we also have the Apple Profile hard drive, resting here on the Apple II monitor stand. It was Apple's first hard drive, initially made for use with the Apple III. It had a formatted 5 MB capacity and was usable on the Apple II computers using an interface card. The retail price for the Apple Profile was $3,500, which is a stunning $10,000 today. Just imagine paying $10,000 for a single 5 MB hard drive. Crazy. <laughs> To finish it all off, we have the original Apple II monitor stand, which was designed by Apple to hold a, a monitor 3 on top of your Apple II series. Next up, we have the famous Apple IIe, which I actually recently covered and unboxed in a previous video. So I will link that video in the description, so I will keep it short this time. Released in 1983, 
the Apple IIe costs $1,395. That's equivalent to a $3,685 nowadays. It's the last surviving Apple II series and it's sold for over 11 years, marking it the longest selling Apple computer in Apple's history. It eventually discontinued by the end of 1993 after almost a decade of hard work. Alongside the Apple IIe, Apple released the Duo Disc, which I have right over here. They charged you $795 for this double floppy drive, which is around $2,099 today. Also released in 1983 was Apple's One Hundred Two, that completed the Apple IIe aesthetic completely because I love the Apple IIe series, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's actually the same story as the Monitor 3. It would cost you $400, but only $350 if you bought it alongside the computer. So looking at the $350, that will be around $924 nowadays. Let's go over to one of my personal favorites, the Apple IIc. Released in 1984 is Apple's 2C. I also already did a complete unboxing and a full depth review of the Apple IIc on my channel. So I will also link that video in the description as well. So again, I will keep it short this time. The Apple IIc cost $1,295 back in 84, which is around $3,380 today. The C stands for compact, and that means that it was portable and easy to take with you. It even had a handle, which is really cool. The Apple IIc was released alongside the original Macintosh, which is really cool actually. It features Apple's Snow White language, and it also had an option for a mouse. The Apple IIe also did, by the way. The 2C sadly eventually discontinued in 1988. I also have the original monitor and monitor stand. The Apple IIc usually sold without monitor or monitor stand, but Apple later included them in the $1,295 price tag. And last, but certainly not least, is the Apple IIgs, which I actually completed this week. I was lucky to get my hands on the original 2GS monitor with the box and everything still for a really good price, so I'm actually really, really excited. <laughs> the Apple 2GS was released in 1986 and sold for $999. That is around $2,500 nowadays. It's the fifth and most powerful of all the Apple II machines, with enhanced multimedia hardware such as the audio. The GS in 2GS stands for graphic and sound. It was actually a really big step for the Apple II lineup and set for a promising future. Sadly, Apple decided to focus more on the Macintosh models and decided to discontinue the 2GS in December of 1992. So next to the 2GS monitor, as I already told you, I have the 12-inch monogram monitor, which I got like yesterday, and the original keyboard and mouse. So here we have all the Apple II generations in one place. I did not have the space to put every monitor in here as well, but here it is. <laughs> it's really cool to see how much progress Apple made in like 20 years. And I can proudly say that the Apple II part of my collection is the part which I'm most proud of. I have a lot of double and spare computers, some sets completely boxed, some sets not boxed. <laughs> but still, the Apple IIs are the favorite pieces in my collection. I really hope you like watching my video about the Apple II collection I have. It's finally completed now, so uh, that's what I'm really, really proud of. You can also find us on Instagram. I will link that in the description as well, and you will also see it in the screen right now. So again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.